Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great. It's Friday, so I'm definitely happy about that. Chrissy, thank you very much, uh, Priscilla, for giving me opportunity to interview you for my YouTube channel and podcast. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. So I thought to tell about the work that you are doing uh, to my audience. Okay. So can you please introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, so uh, my name is Priscilla Birch, and I am the founder and CEO of a new social sharing platform called Fun Club. And uh, I can see you also do uh, a full-time work. Yes, sir. So I'm currently the um, Senior cyber, cyber Operations Project Manager for our cyber, which is the Cybersecurity Division of, of the U.S. Army under the Department of Defense. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I can see you are already uh, into uh, tech industry from long time, and also you are working uh, as uh, 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 in cyber security. So what made you to start this fan club? So um, to be very honest with you, I started fan club um, out of the gist of trying to figure out what was missing from the social media space. Um, you know, to not so much of reinvent the wheel but to figure out what the pain point was as stated and then find a solution to that problem um so as i started kind of developing the product out of course over eight years ago it started as a mere idea as much most companies do right and then i actually started to you know kind of piece things together in terms of how i wanted to build the product out and what some of the features, the initial features would look like um, for some of the early adopters on the platform. And then from there, I started to um, work with several different developers uh, that were outsourced in Mumbai, India. And as we started building the product out, of course, as you know, um, you go through a process called discovery. And this is uh, what you have to do in terms of trying to also make sure that you're not wasting any um, time and or unnecessary efforts and also um, uh, financing to build out a product that users may not even want or the world may not even be ready for. Right. So um, prior to me actually uh, building the product out, let me step back for a minute. I actually um, started to go through discovery and we basically went through a process of doing surveys to see um, what it was out there that the world itself felt as if was also uh, missing from social media um, when it comes to the live entertainment space. Um, as you are very well aware, we have several social media companies that live in the world today that is very well known and um, Fun Club's main purpose was to be created exclusively to social share content around live entertainment and people basically having their most lit moments. So just think of when individuals are at concerts, uh, music festivals, any type of parties, any sort of sporting events, uh, galas, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is where you would share that content. Um, and we actually wanted to get away from um, all the other things that kind of lies on Instagram's platform right now, such as, you know, all the narcissism. Hey, look at me. This is what I'm wearing. This is me on the treadmill. I'm at the gym. This is what I'm eating for today. Hey, I'm walking my dog through the, the shopping mall, et cetera, right? Um, so we basically wanted to, you know, keep things in a pleasant place and basically release happy endorphins in the universe because um, sad but true, social media um, is very toxic. And we know that, you know, it's not, the world right now is suffering really bad when it comes to all the different things that the world is going through at this present moment, especially from, you know, the pandemic with COVID-19. Um, you know, a lot of people just went into very dark places mentally um, and they needed a place to escape. And I think this is also to why Fun Club is, um, you know, kind of positioning it, positioning itself to be the next um, big thing in the social media space when it comes to, as I stated, 
uh, putting something out there that is uh, built more around happy times where people can come on the platform and they can laugh and have a good time and put a smile on their face and kind of get away from all the toxicity that stem from all the other social media platforms. Mm -hmm. So um, with that being said, as I started to build out the platform, as stated, um, I also ended up uh, finding out something that piqued my interest even more than just building out a product that is a cool product and also a product that's built around um, just sharing live entertainment type content. But what also became very, very near and dear to my heart was me seeing the effects that social media has on teens um, from a mental standpoint and me wanting to also, you know, create a platform that kind of helps those groups of individuals as well. Um, because as stated, you know, not to dethrone anybody, but I can only keep going back to certain platforms in which that live in this world today that is very, very common among users. Um, and Instagram, because it is the platform that is generated um, around all things content based, this is where a lot of younger people tend to go to, to, um, if you will, compare themselves, right, to the content that they see. They may look at other younger women or older women uh, or women from just other parts of the world that may look a certain way. And they tend to um, try to add up to what they see instead of not realizing that a lot of that information and or content that's shared on Instagram is not real, right? It's 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 like you you live in a fake world, if you will. But this also too has caused um, teen a lot of teens to have mental distress, to even become very depressive and suicidal, and so that became even more important to me than just building out a platform. Again, that was generated around sharing um, content based around live entertainment, right? From there, um, I also, um, as I feel is very important to mention, that I am a cybersecurity expert. And I also recognize that that's also to one of the major components um, that's missing from other social media and social networking companies in this world today as well. Um, you know, we can take several examples. One of the bigger ones was the Cambridge Analytica scandal um, via Facebook and how users information and data was sold to Russia. And for me, being a cybersecurity um, expert, that is a huge concern for me, particularly. Right. And I feel like that is one of the key components, again, that's missing that we also have to pay very close attention to wanting to fix because cybersecurity and security in general should be first and should not be last only when something happens, okay? So I basically took all of those things that were very important to me and I implemented those things into the platform that I built today, okay? So fast forward, Fun Club is now a, a live platform that currently sits in the App Store we continue to garner users every single month by way of running contests through Instagram and Facebook. And what we do is we basically interact with the, the, the users that are on the platform by allowing them to enter contests and they can win um, cool things such as like tickets to some of the coolest music festivals, uh, concerts, all across the country, right? And it's been working very well for my brand in particular. I know that everybody has their own different ways in which they, you know, kind of raise their, you know, get their user base up. But that particular one thing has worked extremely well for Fun Club. And of course, you know, we have some other cool things that are under um, our sleeve as well, right? That we're not kind of putting out there as of yet, but I'm basically, again, I'm positioning Fun Club to be the next big thing because I feel like, you know, the world is, is at a place now where it's definitely ready for something new and exciting that is built around happy moments. I, I you know, I can't stress that no more, no less, but this is the time and, and it's very important because this world is suffering a lot 
when it comes to just, you know, things just being very depressive and sad and people just not being in a good space mentally. And this is why I continue uh, my journey with Fun Club. So uh, uh, before uh, uh, before this interview, uh, uh, I, I interacted with you and uh, you said uh, the purpose of uh, fan club, why it started and uh, why you wanted to start it. Uh, I, I can understand that. I can see that you have so much concern about uh, 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 the, the human values and uh, not uh, being a technologist, how this is there in you. Is that the reason why you started fan club and you are adding all those values in the form of features uh, in fan club? Yes. So back prior to me starting the company, I actually was in college for cybersecurity. And, you know, we, we all have, as I explained to a lot of younger people, when I mentor younger people, I explained to them that we all in life have a gift and a talent. And we're all placed here for a divine purpose and reason. It's just a matter of us figuring out what that purpose is. And in my time doing college, I, re I shortly realized that while cybersecurity was very important to me and it still is because that's what I do for a time, I realized that my path to technology was by way of me going to school for cybersecurity, if that makes sense. But cybersecurity in school was not really holding my attention enough. And I realized that that's because I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to do things that was impactful. And it's not to say that education is not important because I always stress to everybody that education is very important, even if it's self-education and you learning things, whether it's reading things in a book or going to the World Wide Web or just, you know, watching documentaries, anything that you deem that you need for yourself to learn more and to expand your knowledge is always going to be very important and critical for your own personal growth. However, I feel like for me, it was meant for me to be an entrepreneur. And that's the reason why I continue down this path of getting as much education as I absolutely could and then taking the necessary um, steps, if you would, to put myself in the entrepreneurial um, position so that I can, again, build some some things that were impactful to the world as a whole and just create true change that's needed in the world that we live today. Uh, is it a web app or a, a mobile app? It's and a mobile how app. Users, yeah. How many users so do you as, have already? As of right now, um, so the app launched in August of last year, 2021. And as of today's date, we have about maybe 3,500 downloads, which is not, it's not a huge number, but I think for, for me, I am more into slow growth because I really wanted to understand what it was that I was building and I also understand the importance of not things being um, done from a mindset of expediency and taking my time to grow the really grow a business. Um, I did not create Fun Club from the gist of wanting to create something that was a fast fix where I could make, you know, a million dollars within like the first two or three years. Of course, I want to make money from my brand. But again, that wasn't the, the main purpose of why I started down this journey. For me, it was about change, right? And what that looked like to the world as a whole. And then understanding that if I continue to put the hard work in, that the money would definitely follow at some point. Um, and I, I always stress that too, to people that I mentor, it's about what your true passion is but also making sure that again, that when you're building something that you're not so much of reinventing the wheel, but just finding a true pain point and finding the absolute best solution to that problem. Yes. So what age group people will connect with this app? So the target demographic is Gen Z millennial, um, college students in between the age of 18 and 35, um, and also 
for anybody that's in the entertainment space, whether you're a, a, promo, a party promoter, a DJ, a up and coming artist, um, a venue owner, things of that nature. We welcome all of those individuals as well. But Fun Club also is open to everybody of all ages, right? We don't discriminate. Um, even when it comes to, you know, races of people, Fun Club is a platform that loves everybody. We want everybody to enjoy the platform, to have fun on the platform, and just, you know, experience at the best in the best possible way that they can. So what are the user experiences that you hear? Say that one more time. Uh, the user experiences of fan club. So you're saying, what is it that I've heard? So in what type of feedback? Yeah, feedback. What, oh. uh, the, the users of yours, what they experience. So the users ab absolutely love the platform, um, which was very exciting for me because again, this is my very first product and project that I've ever started and kind of birthed on my own. Um, and you know, for me not to come from your typical technology background, meaning, you know, from Silicon Valley, I am very, very excited, but also very humble to see, you know, the excitement that the users get when me and my company or, you know, my team, when we basically post contests through um, Instagram and Facebook, how excited they are to be a part of the contest, to download the app and, and upload and share their content. It's very, very breathtaking and very exciting, but humbling as well to see, you know, the interaction that I receive from the users every single day. So where uh, it has been used, only in US? Yes, yes. Currently only in the US, as far as I know. So can you tell in which states it has been used? Um, so as of right now, um, I do have a way that I can track that via the App Store on the development side. And I will tell you, at least about 90% of users are from the United States. And you have maybe one, two percent. Some people are in uh, Europe. I did see people in Europe. I see maybe like a percent, of course, in Africa and also um, maybe a little bit in Canada. But that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, so which means it works in uh, uh, it works everywhere. In yes, the world. yes. Correct. So you, you, you are connected with uh, these event uh, managing companies and uh, entertainment things? Um, well, right now I work with several uh, entertainment venues that are actually located right here in, in my hometown in Washington, D.C. And then I'm actually uh, in the position now of expanding out to Miami and also working with um, some local entertainers such as um, artists and also some comedians as well, because that is a part of, uh, you know, entertainment as well. And also um, up and coming promoters and DJs as well. Yes. So uh, what kind of events that you have already uh, added in the app? So right now, there's not any events added in the app as of this moment, but there is a feature that sits in the application where you as a user can actually create your own event. And that event, once it's created, you can actually invite individuals that actually sit on the Fun Club platform and you can choose to make the event public or private. But the cool thing about that particular uh, feature is that once that event is published, it sits in, in real time on the Google Maps API and then once the event is over with, it disappears. So that is also a very key element to the Fun Club platform because, again, you know, we're positioning ourselves to be the one stop shop for all things live entertainment. Um, and we want to provide as much as um, different features to the user for the best user experience so that they don't have to continue to use five to eight to ten different platforms to do one thing right so that's what fun club is positioning itself to do so what is the process uh, for registration 
it's a free downloadable app. Um, it's free. You know, anybody can download it. Anyone can use it. Everything for right now is is free to all users that are able to utilize the platform. So what credential that they need to give and also what is the uh, what about the uh, uh, data protection? So the creden credentials right now is your basic um, profile creation of you entering your name, um, your sex, female or male, or indifferent if you choose to not respond to that. And also, your, you know, your telephone number and things of that nature, email address, very basic, typical things that you would need when you register on any other uh, platform. And when it comes to the data protection piece, again, because I am the face of this brand and because of the work that I do every day, um, which is trying to try my very best to save people all across this country's information protection of that and their data. That is one of the most important things for me being the face of this company when it comes to Fun Club. Um, so we're actually working right now to implement um, also um, crypto and also blockchain as one of the um, security pieces to pro for protection of uh, people's information and data, but that has not been uh, fully implemented at this point as of yet. So how you are giving service uh, uh, to uh, to the event creators? How are we repeat uh, how that? How you are going to how you are going to support the event creators of your app? Well, the way that we support them is by giving them a free platform for them to be able to promote um, whatever event it is that they that they are having at that particular moment. Um, one of the examples would be if if I um, am an individual that's, that's running a local um, nightclub, basically same thing. I would upload my profile, create my profile. I would upload um, any pertinent information in terms of the location of my venue, the days um, of business, the time of business, of operation, um, open to close, um, whatever events that I'm getting ready to have for that week, I make sure that I also upload that information to the platform as well. And then anybody that's on the platform that's following me can also see that information as well. And then they can start to engage with me, ask me questions in terms of ticketing costs. Is there any like cover charge and things of that nature? Um, and again, that is free to everybody. It doesn't matter if you are a venue owner, a party promoter, a DJ, an up and coming artist, or a basic user that just wants to, you know, kind of come to the platform and see what Fun Club is all about. Um, again, we, we did not want to create this from the standpoint of charging the user right away. Um, we wanted to give the user an ability to find out about Fun Club and then kind of venture through the platform so that they can enjoy it and you know, and and feel inclined to uploading their their content as well, and then maybe later on down the line, as we continue to add more features, maybe there will be some sort of uh, minimal subscription base where you may have to pay very minimal amount of money to maybe download the app or to, um, you know, like um, partake in some of the features that are on the app. So, what about notifications? Yes, there is notifications. Um, one of those things would be if you are receiving an invite to an event, you'll get the notification right directly inside the Fun Club app that somebody has sent you something. So yes, we do have that as well. So you said uh, you want to reach everywhere uh, in the world uh, yes. uh, with, with this. So how are you going to make this happen? So again, um, as as how I understand growth uh, uh, works in uh, specifically social media platforms because everything is about customer acquisition. Um, you know, from how I was taught, social media platforms are not created to typically generate capital. They're all about the customer acquisition. You know, how many people download the product, how many people spend time on the product, daily, weekly, monthly, 
um, what is the 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 usage, um, as I stated, um, how often they're using it, but also are they using the app or are they just downloading the app and then deleting the app from off of their phones? Um, for me, my main focus is to um, lock a few areas of in the United States down first to prove that this is something that people do want, which that's already being shown right now because we have people that are already engaging on the app on a daily basis. But then from that point, I want to then start to expand out to other countries. And then at some point, I would like to be in all countries in the entire world. That's my goal. So uh, what about the uh, uh, customer's uh, point of view? Uh, 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 are you able to communicate and interact with uh, the users that uh, you have? Yes. Um, so inside the platform, while we don't currently have an active messaging um, feature, you know how in, in certain platforms you can do instant messaging. Um, while we don't have that implemented at this particular moment, that is something that we're looking to implement in the very, very near future. But what you can do is if someone uploads content, you can like the content and you can also reply, you know, submit a response to the content that that an individual has shared. So that's one way that you can actually inter interact, I'm sorry, with the user that's on the platform. So what are the additional features that you want to add to the app? So I would like to add um, ticketing where users can actually go on the platform and purchase tickets to events. Um, and, and while I must state that while we're not, you know, in the position, we're not trying to become the next ticket master. We want to provide that service as an option to the user so that it can be a place of conveniency for the user where they don't have to leave one platform and go outside of the platform to another platform to do something else. Um, also, in addition to that, we will have merchandise, um, not just your typical, um, you know, hats, hoodies, um, things of that nature, but we'll also have limited edition items, um, which we would consider fun club swag for the user to purchase as well. And then um, there's some other things, you know, memberships, of course, subscription based memberships, as I spoke about earlier. But there's another thing, too, that I don't really want to give away the secret sauce of that um, as of yet. Um, stay tuned for that. I want to kind of keep that tucked away um, because that uh, that's actually going to be one of the things that separates Fun Club from all social media platforms and social networking platforms. And it's going to be very cool. So I'm, I'm very excited, um, you know, and I can't wait to be able to share that with the world. So uh, how your full time job, uh, cyber security, how that uh, experience or uh, that uh, knowledge or that profession of yours uh, is helping you or helps you uh, in take uh, uh, in doing this a new role of yours because you are founder now you are uh, you are service provider now you have to take responsibility of everything uh, all sides of uh, the, the the business so you switch to your role how is how that experience is going to uh, uh, helpful for you uh, in this role well it's very helpful because again um, I have been doing cybersecurity work for about 12 years now, so I'm 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 pretty skilled at this point, right? I, wouldn't you agree? Um, I think that cybersecurity has helped me a lot tremendously in what it is that I continue to build out because, again, I understand the importance and the value behind being able to be the face of something where security to me is first and not last, and I want users to understand that. I my very, very, very first priority is to come out the gate with their protection of data information as key and first, not when something happens. Um, because as, as I stated, you know, it's unfortunate that other uh, big tech companies, they don't typically feel as if cybersecurity is a um, profitable business, if you will, which is very odd because um, you know, when you come when it comes to the government, 
they pour billions of dollars into security platforms um, because they understand the importance of that as well. However, um, for me, because I am actually doing this wonderful work every day across the globe, that has helped me tremendously again. And I want to continue to utilize that experience to further expand my knowledge and, and um, you know, building out this platform so that users, again, can know that I am somebody that has their best interests at heart. And it's not just about creating a cool platform, but that I am doing things so that it can be like impactful and world changing to everybody as a whole in the social media space in, in the world today. So how you are going to give great user experience? So we've are, we're already doing that now. Um, one of the things is continuing to listen to the user and not feeling as if I know what the user wants and or needs but listening to them, you know, encouraging them to leave comments and, you know, put reviews into the app store when they download the product and when they actually have a chance to utilize the product so that myself and my team can go back and continue to funnel out the product to give the user the absolute best experience that they can actually have. So how many, how many people are working with you? So right now I have a staff of five people and this is not inclusive of the development team. Um, and my, my team is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and as of course, Fun Club is always looking to expand um, with, with bringing on some of the biggest and brightest stars um, in, in the world of technology because we can never, never um, know too much or be, you know, be too great of a company. It takes, you know, a lot of great ideas but young and fresh ideas too, to continue to build the best products that the world sees in, in today's world. And you said to me that uh, you're going to organize a launching event. Yes, so my goal is to um, do a launch event by the end of this year, absolute latest spring of 2023. And it's gonna be very fun. Hopefully um, you can actually fly to the United States and go too. I got the invitation. Yes, <laughs> for sure. So uh, at last, uh, uh, how fan club is useful for any user? Well, again, um, fun club is, you know, it's it's another social media platform, right? Um, and and the cool thing about it is that my understanding and how I see things is that social media is never going anywhere. It is the absolute largest way to disseminate information across the globe. But, you know, people will continue to build new things, right? As, as the world grows and as times change and as, you know, younger people basically come up with fresh and new ideas, people are going to always continue to build things. And for me, it's about, you know, like I stated, just being a part of that and doing everything I can possible to build a positive platform, a platform that is free from toxicity, is free from hate, um, you know, you know, basically sharing amongst all people, whether it's, you know, your different sex, color, creed, it doesn't matter. I want everybody that comes to learn about Fun Club to absolutely enjoy it and know that they are welcome, irrespective of how different they may look. Um, and that's, you know, that's pretty much it. I just, you know, I'm just here to, you know, spread the wealth and and just do great things and, and spread positivity in this world. I can also see you are uh, giving uh, tickets, uh, Justin Bieber tickets. Uh, uh, I, I saw you shared in the Instagram. Yes. That's great. So, Thank uh, you. so uh, keep going. So, uh, as a as a, as a founder, as a cybersecurity uh, uh, professional, what do you what is your observation about my work? Have you seen any videos of mine on YouTube? Well, I will tell you. Um, as I stated before, I think you've done a phenomenal job. Um, you know, 
you know, for you to be so young, I think that you've grown a lot in, in your career and what it is that you're doing. And I think we definitely need more people like you. So I definitely highly encourage you to continue to spread your wings, continue to learn, continue to want to grow and be flexible, be pliable, you know, continue to listen to, you know, your users and other individuals that are out there to see what it is that they want from people such as yourself. And, you know, continue to do great. I mean, as I stated, you know, we definitely need young, fresh minds and entrepreneurs in this world. You guys are the future. And I definitely celebrate and, and you know, congratulate. And if there's absolutely anything that I can do to be in support of your career, I'm a phone call, a Skype call, a LinkedIn message away. Just know that. It's an honor you saying that uh, it's a very big uh, thing for me. Uh, and I'll be very happy for uh, today listening to your words. And, uh, Absolutely. So can I put, uh, uh, I'll, I'll put your uh, web link and also app link in the description of this video. People who find our video on YouTube can see it. And also uh, I'll put on the screen, I'll put the link on the screen. People who find the video can, can, can on YouTube can see on the screen. Can you also spell to my podcast people? Yes. Um, so the name of the company is Fun Club, F-U-N Club, C-L-U-B. In the app store is Join Fun Club, one word, no spaces. Um, and on Instagram, you can find us at Join The Fun Club and the same on Facebook. Um, again, I definitely thank you for this wonderful time spent with you and, and just learning more about you and you learning more about me. And I hope that in the very near future, you, I, you and I can work together as well and you know, figuring out what other cool things that we can bring to the Fun Club platform. I definitely highly encourage and invite those ideas, of course, as stated, um, and, you know, and like I said, continue to do great things. Sure. And uh, uh, this app is only for Apple users and you will yes. have entered into Android user, uh, Android. Yes. So currently, unfortunately, right, um, you know, we're only open to um, the App Store right now. But, you know, stay tuned. We're working really, really diligently to get it in the Google Play Store very, very, very soon. Awesome. Can I put this video on my YouTube channel with your permission? Yes, absolutely. And also, can I put this audio and video clip on my podcast, website, internet, social media, everywhere with your permission? Yes, please do. Thanks, Priscilla. Keep going, keep doing, keep inspiring people like this. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I wish you the absolute best of luck as well in all of your endeavors. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.